Hi guys! I'm so glad that you have joined me again today and we're talking about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Today we are talking about the kindness, the fruit of the Holy Spirit's kindness. And do you remember one of the things that we said we might use for remembering the fruits of the Spirit is kindness. And it was the angels. So I'm just going to show you really quickly. This is a group of angels. It's just a statue. You can see all their beautiful wings. And it just reminds me of how kind they are to each other. How kind they are. And how in their kindness that they're given to each other, they're consoling each other, they're making each other feel good, respecting each other. And I thought today that we could draw some angels. Now, it doesn't have to be exactly like the angels I've just shown you. I thought I would draw something like this. So here we go. Are you ready? Have you got your paper ready? All your colours ready? and your pencil. So, just before we start, I'm going to read you the verse of Philippians 2, verse 3 to 4. And it says about the values, valuing, valuing others above yourself, being kind to others above you. I think that's very, very special. And you can be kind and value others above yourself because God shows you how. And how do you do that? By maybe sending a note saying that you really appreciate somebody else and you thank God for their lives and that you want to show kindness by sending them a card or a little note saying that you appreciate them and that you want to show them kindness because they've shown kindness to you. So here we go to remind us of the word kindness and the fruits of the Holy Spirit kindness. I thought we could draw an angel an angel being so kind to us. God is so kind to us. He shows us how to be kind to others. Here we go. I'm going to start off with an oval shape for the head. All the way around. And at any time you can stop the video so you can catch up with me. One line down, another line down for the neck. And then we're going to go all the way out like that. And on the other side, all the way out at an angle, not straight across, maybe down. And then we're going to go all the way down here. So if I maybe draw as far as down here, a line across, maybe right in the middle, right in the center, a line across, just a little line. And then we're going to join them up. Here we go, a line down there, and at the other side, a line all the way down there. And then on this side, we're going to draw a hand. So we're going to draw hands of kindness, and our hands are outstretched, showing people kindness like an angel. And then feet. So we're just going to draw two feet, like an oval shape, and then next to it another oval shape like that. And then, first and foremost, I'm going to do a boy angel first. So we're going to draw hair around like that. And bump, 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 bump. So he's got curvy hair, he's got curly hair. And then a bump like that, and a shorter bump like that, and then his ears like that. 
and then two eyes. Now his eyes are closed, so we're going to go around, and a, a, a round shape, and around. There his eyes closed. Two little dots for his nose, and then a smirky smile. <laughs> now, that can be the boy. And maybe hair like that. In fact, I think it's too girly looking, so I'm going to rub it out and rub the top bit out and do maybe a round shape like that, like a point and another point with his hair down like that and then a fringe. That looks more like a boy, doesn't it? I think that looks better. And then for his wings, we start near his ear, below his ear. I'm going to go all the way around and up. So it's like a, an S shape. And the same on the other side, all the way around, opposite and up like that. And then we're going to go around and we're going to go little bumps around and around and around and around and around like that and then the other side another bump and then around and around and around and around and around and around there's his wings they're really cool wings and then we're going to go another line out and then copy the same and another line out and then copy the bumps the same as the first line and there's his wings and then for his cloak we're going to go around at the top like that and then if you start here and go over there around and then back over here all the way around and then back over there all the way around and then back here all the way around and back over there all the way around and back over here all the way around and then at the end yay that's his cloak and then at the bottom we're going to write the word kindness the fruit of the holy spirit is kindness so we've done love joy peace patience kindness and we're going to write the word kindness so it's k i n d n E S S kindness. Now we've done the boy, I'm going to do the girl. And all we're going to do for the girl is add pigtails to her hair. So for the boys, boys, you leave it the way it is, the way it looks like there, because it looks like a cool angel boy. Now we're going to do a girl. So we're going to do piglets for her hair like that on one side and then the other side like that and now because she's got long hair and she's got piglets in her hair that can be a girl here we go we are going to color her because now i've added longer hair on her head we're going to color her in in a lovely chocolate brown so let's color in her face chocolate brown and her ears and her neck her hands and her hands are showing kindness she wants to give of herself and maybe give a gift and her feet Now, her wings can be a lovely golden colour 
So we're going to colour them in in a lovely golden colour. Her wings. Now you can colour in whatever colour you like. And I'm just doing up and down lines because it looks like a wing. Let's do that again. Can you see the lines? I'm going up and down, up and down in a lovely golden colour. And then on the other side, up and down, up and down. Lovely. I just love colouring in and I hope you enjoy colouring in your picture as well. And there we have it, the wings. Let's colour in her hair. And she could have black hair, couldn't she? Let's give her black hair. Okay. And now... She could have purple and red. She could have purple and red colours in her gown. So as we are colouring in our picture of kindness, Think about all the things that you could do to show kindness. And if you get stuck on, well, how can I be kind to a friend? And you're not sure what to do, ask Jesus to show you how you can be kind to each other, to your brother or your sister. There are many ways that we can be kind to each other. We can say nice things to each other. That's being kind. We can show kindness by maybe making something for them, like a nice picture that will make them happy. That's showing kindness. But the kindness that Jesus gives us is deep, deep within us. He shows us kindness by what he done for us on the cross. And we can also be kind by th thanking Jesus for what he has done for us and thanking him for showing us how to be kind to others. Even sometimes it's good to be kind to yourself. Now let's colour in the word kindness and I'm going to colour it in green. K-I-N-D-N-E-S-S. -S. Kindness. I hope you have enjoyed drawing and colouring in with me today and I look forward to seeing you next week and I think you are amazing and I hope that you remember each time that you look at your picture that you've drawn and coloured in today that you will remember the fruit of the Holy Spirit is kindness. I'll see you next week kids. Bye!